Hey everyone, what is up? Today I'm going to be reviewing the Skik Lynx 4. Special shout out to Skik for sending me this laptop to review it. Now let's start off with looking at all the dimensions. I already love the open bottom panel as it allows for great airflow. Now the port selection is fairly standard, but that is standard in a good way, as it offers everything you need. It also has four fans to blow out the hot air to keep it nice and cool during intensive use. Now this laptop is extremely thin and the hinges are very well made. I do not foresee any problems with them. The keyboard is pretty standard. I like typing on it, but I've had better. I do love the dedicated power mode button in the top corner and the speakers were loud and clear. They were pleasant to listen to. Now the trackpad was something else. I really loved the trackpad. The texture of the trackpad was very smooth, it was nice and large, and it was just super easy to use. And of course, they have included the RGB bar to be flexing at your friends. Now, in my humble opinion, the screen is one of the most important parts of a laptop, and this screen just checks all the boxes. It's quad HD, 165 Hertz, and the brightness is a good 300 nits, which is perfect for gaming and content creation. Now, if I tinkered a little bit with the settings on the battery, I could get a good three and a half, four hours battery out of it, which is fine. There's definitely laptops out there with bigger batteries, but the size of the battery does not affect my personal buying decision. Now this is what the internal camera and microphone look and sound like. It's a 720p 30 FPS camera. Now it comes pre-installed with a software called Control Center and it has all kinds of options. It also has a mug switch to all those who are wondering or Nvidia Optimus. You can change the performance settings. You can also set a manual fan speed. You can just tinker around with that. The keyboard can be adjusted in these settings as well. The RGB on it. You can change all kinds of modes, set it different colors, also different brightness. It's very simplistic, but I love it. Now let's go over to the more intensive part where most of you will buy their laptop for, which is gaming. Let's go check out the gaming performance.
Now to conclude the video, you are getting a thin and light gaming laptop that carries a max power 3070 with a super fast 11th gen i7 processor. It has a 1440p screen with decent brightness, 165 hertz, and they also included a MUX switch. But these are all the boxes I want to have checked when buying a gaming laptop. I hope this video helped you and be sure to check out the updated prices on Skik their website. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.